Hello, my name is Elizabeth Mariska. I am a music major at Fullerton College. Today, I am going to be arguing why Fullerton College should utilize playground sessions for the coming semesters within their music department to teach these lessons online. Okay, first, we're gonna identify the issues that there were in the music department at Fullerton College prior to quarantine. And then we're gonna identify what were the issues that arise during quarantine. And then secondly, we're going to justify why utilizing the program that we're anticipating to use called Go React is not going to be effective for music students. And then we're going to identify what is playground sessions and we're going to go over the cost per student. Okay, I want to share with you guys a story prior to quarantine. I was taking a music theory class with Professor Bertoni at, and it's, oh, she, she changed her name. It's Nicola uh, Bertoni Dedmond. Okay just to get it right. <laughs> and I recall her often saying, if it was up to me, you would all have, uh, you would all have pianos to learn uh, music theory. And she worked off of a, a piano visualizer. It's a very old school uh, visualizer that um, was able to, you were able to see what key she played against you know on the wall however this visualizer obviously didn't work and she had to tippy toe every time to show us a key where she's at and then we worked out of paper pianos and I know she did her best to teach uh, the theory to a large class it is a class that is required for I believe all the music majors for music theory and I saw her struggle often. She reminded me of a doctor with little to no tools trying their best to take care of their their patients. <laughs> um, she, I don't know, she often reminded me of that and it just frustrated me because I, rem I remember she would say that she would plead to the music department to fix this music visualizer so she can teach the class. And I remember she was swamped. I saw her firsthand just running back and forth between meetings and then uh, trying to meet with students after class. And she wore many hats, I do understand that. And I, I just saw her deliver all of her lectures with so much passion and enthusiasm and I loved it and it was infectious. Uh, but student like myself who had a different learning ability um, it made it really difficult to pass her class and so it, it was it was just really frustrating um, hearing that she was not getting the support that she needed okay so first let's identify what were the issues in this story one lack of support for professors in the music department Two, there's a shortage in in uh, music equipment within the music department, and then I believe also the support outside of class. I know that we could reach out to our professors, but they already have a lot of things to do, and we only had one um, one uh, music uh, a tutor for the entire music department. This is this is for over 4,000 students, music majors, that are enrolled at Fullerton College. It kind of doesn't seem fair. And uh, it was very difficult to try and book um, a tutoring session with this uh, tutor. And her his time was very limited. And so that was issues prior to quarantine. What troubled me more, and I do understand, we were put under very um, 
unpredictable circumstances uh, when we went into quarantine. But no one ever came to us as music students be like, do you have the equipment that you need to do your homework as far as a piano? I am lucky to have a piano because I, I saved to get a piano, but I do understand not everybody has a piano at home or has the funds to be able to afford one at home. And nobody asked, do you guys need tutors? Like, do you guys need tutors for your music uh, courses? That, that was very difficult. It was really difficult to try and end the semester strong with no tutors, nobody to really be there to explain things and, and try to put things into perspective. There was our professors who had to learn a program overnight and then to be like, oh, and also can you do this too? And just, you know, I, I'm sure they lost a lot of sleep. We need to give them a break. Okay. Secondly, we are anticipating on using a program called Go React. And it's not effective because uh, you're, you're trying to teach a music theory and piano to students that come from all types of uh, backgrounds in music and music abilities. Uh, I believe my professors can agree that music, uh, to teach music, requires precision, rep uh, repetition, and it requires engagement, and also being able to practice outside of class. You need the outside support uh, out of class. And to just, like I said, I believe it's so unfair to just put everything on our professors who are working so hard to make the best of this quarantine. And I'm all for all the amazing uh, music professors at Fullerton College. So, um, I, so that was that was my main issue. I don't I don't believe that uh, teaching a class just video uh, just a video demonstration is not sufficient. And, and I did message the Dean of the Music Department. He stated that he would look into utilizing playground sessions, but most likely would be utilizing uh, Go React. But that's, that's just not sufficient for students who have uh, learning disabilities or come from low income backgrounds. Um, this Go React program is not efficient, he said it was easy to use, he did not say it was efficient. So I would like to see those numbers. See how efficient it was. Okay, now I am going to go over what is playground sessions. I actually can tell you better. I can show you better than I can tell you. Here is my setup. And this is accessible to um, and either iPads, um, any tablet. Connect a little MIDI, MIDI keyboard and voila. So if you can see my keyboard, I connect my keyboard to my computer and then this detects, this detects uh, the MIDI keyboard that I will be using. I measure and then it shows me uh, my keyboard onto the screen. The unique thing about this program is that we were once able to keep track of the uh, we were once able to keep track of like our practice when we go to the practice room this does it for us. It does the same thing. And it also has a visualizer, more modern and updated than this old school visualizer that we try, that Professor Denman tried to use. And the amazing thing about this is that it even has support for music theory, references for music theory and so your notes are online and our professors can go ahead and tailor their lessons onto uh, playground sessions. Now, if I go into this, 
What's amazing is that you can see the keyboard that I'm using on the screen. And then it breaks it down into uh, many sections. And when... Hey everybody, I am Harry and I am... Okay. Well, it does break it into sections. And uh, Harry is... It's as easy as this. Your thumb goes on middle C. So you're also able, uh, professors are also able to conduct a video lesson while showing the piano, but it's something that you can refer to. And when he's playing the keyboards, or, or when I'm playing the keyboards, if I'm the one playing, then uh, it detects what keyboard or key I am playing. And then it tells me if I play the correct note or not. And it gives me real time feedback. Uh, the amazing thing about this is that it's fun and it's engaging. And uh, the, let's go over the cost of this program. So the cost of the program for each student is literally $12.99. And at Fullerton College, we have over 4,000 music majors. Uh, compared to the visualizer that Professor Dedman was trying to get replaced or fixed, um, it is much cheaper and more viable. Uh, according uh, to Reverb online, I was looking up that this visualizer cost between yeah three thousand to uh, five thousand dollars to replace versus the twelve ninety nine a month for our music majors. You don't need a huge piano like myself, a full size piano like myself. Use either. It's playable on, on the tablets. I can have a little MIDI keyboard. It doesn't have to be a full size. And that's the amazing thing about it. So it's $12.99. We've gone over that it's affordable. That's effective. It is one of the, the number one leading online music programs out there. And we've identified the issues that there were prior to uh, quarantine and during quarantine and then why utilizing uh, you know this go react program is not effective we have to urge uh, you know the music uh, department to take action and not just giving us mediocre equipment to learn music for those who are musically uh, challenged or just like uh, rookies they it's not viable to teach an online um, online music course by video. This is something that gives me a real time um, either feedback while visually seeing and it also gives me the uh, metronome and it, it helps me uh, get, get motivated to be honest to go back and go back because it's so rewarding. It's supposed to be fun. Music is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be something that you go back to and that you're excited to learn and it's engaging and it should be easy to learn. All right, well, please go and urge uh, the music department, uh, the dean of the music department to please adopt and utilize playground sessions for those music majors. I am very certain that the professors at Fullerton College would be very happy and so would the students at Fullerton College. Thank you.